the places I've been You're all these late nights, long road, tread out snowshoes And all the times I just wanna give it in purpose Who's to say it's worth it? Striving to live for more myself of good and lost so with all the world's wealth. Hello, my name is Robert Hersey and I am the director of Wild Northumbrian. This is where my heart is really, um, because I grew up here when I was little. I came um, every holiday and uh, we used to stay in a house, a beautiful estate on, in Reedsdale, just, on, just over the hill there. And it was kind of an idyllic childhood really. It was kind of uh, wandering around, running around in the woods with my cousins. You know, it was sort of like a dream, a, a dream childhood and uh, making camps in the woods, like classic kind of uh, children's storybook things. And uh, that's always stayed with me. It's completely that sense of open freedom, wild places, camps, you know, stealing food from parents and, you know, going off into the woods and uh, just having a bit of free time away from everything. That's part of my life that went for a bit because uh, what I ended up doing was um, being a theatre director, teaching, doing theatre, drama and music. And that's my other part of my life. And that kind of feeds into what I want to fit in here, which is the workshops, the, the music that we're doing here. What we tried to do with um, setting this up is we um, had this idea that um, we were going to go local, food, sourcing food locally. Um, we were going to try and use local people to make things uh, like the beds, the wood, wooden things in the, in the yurts. Um, particularly the bed is all made locally uh, by Trunk Reclaimed, which is just down in Ballingham. And, and we got through to them just by Twitter. I mean, all of this social media is like completely revolutionized what you can do and, what, and, and who you can meet, you know, um, from musicians, artists to craftsmen. Um, the, the guy that we're using for all of our um, wooden things now is just, just in Bellingham again, you know, and uh, he's just started up and that's really important to us. As far as these yurts and the shepherd huts and things like that, it's a chance for me to get back into this wild place and not have to travel every day and uh, to give people that sense of peace, um, creative silence, you know, where they can sit back and think, ah, oh, you know, my, my, day, my day job in London is just far away. There's no um, mobile signal. There's, uh, and that's good, you know, people, uh, children go, oh no, not the, my iPad's in the car. No, you get out here and after about an half an hour, it's like, they don't care anymore. But we want to get people here um, for different things, for retreats, for artist residencies, for fests. And this, this thing we're doing tonight uh, with the bands from the North East is just a starter. You know, we're working, we hope to work with bands with individual artists come up here, poets, uh, writers, and really sort of have that same experience that people already do when they come up here and stay. What we're doing to here tonight is the f real fun side of, uh, of uh, what I hope to achieve uh, next year and the years coming, um, where people can come here and really relax. Um, we've got a, a wood-fired pizza oven, which just chucks out amazing food. That sort of twinned with that outside atmosphere, the, 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 the teepee with their, its fire lit, the candles, that kind of atmosphere and just looking up also because we're in the middle of the dark sky park and that's incredibly important for us as well. So the whole thing is a package um, of outside entertainment, music, food and uh, just chilling really.
Waking in from a slumber And I can feel the land is straight And stole all my heart Now I see through the haze The more I seek, the more it clears And the spark of fire blaze Eats me to my soul Whoa Hi, um, my name's Peter Kaisley, I'm from the band The Dusk Run. The band um, sort of formed when I was doing a music master's degree at Newcastle Uni, um, and then since then, um, kind of developed and changed over the years, um, with me being the concert member and different um, yeah, musicians coming along to play. But for the last year or so, we've settled on a kind of core seven. Um, we've been in lots of gigs reaching around Newcastle and um, doing some stuff in London as well, so it seems to be taking off, which is great. And it's been great to get invited out um, yeah, um, beautiful scenery, um, a really nice venue, um, as you can see around me, we're in this nice uh, shepherd's hut. Um, yeah, it's just great, there's yurts and um, teepees and everything around here, it's a really nice setting. So we didn't know about um, this place until we got asked, but it's already been great being here and yeah, I think it's got a lot of potential, it's been a um, you know, good venue for festivals or even future gigs. It's the second curse, thank you! Hi, I'm Laura and I sing in a band called Gilded Thieves. And the band formed when we were in uni and we decided to just play some songs together and it ended up being something that we all really loved doing. So by the end of it we've been doing festivals and um, we did a whole host of festivals last year. We've had gig upon gig in Newcastle um, and we've basically just tried to gig up and down the country as much as we can um, and we've just loved being with each other and having a fantastic time playing music. This has been so much fun. Um, I grew up on a farm, so I had a fantastic time here tonight. Um, it's just being in the middle of nature, being back to basics, and we're in a big hut in the middle of nowhere in front of some fantastic people, um, playing with another fantastic band, The Dust Run. They've been great. Um, and it's just been nice to play in a really interesting venue. Um, sometimes playing in clubs in the middle of the city is fantastic, but when you get out and amongst it, that's when it feels real. And when you make the most fantastic music, when you've got a live sound outside, it's great. There's a lot of um, bands in the northeast that aren't so much recognised as they should be, um, and playing in venues like this just makes you so much more accessible to um, audiences that would sometimes not hear you. Um, I love the fact that some people here tonight haven't heard who we are. They've got no idea who we are. That's great. Um, if we can reach those people, then so much the better. If you like us and you like what we do, um, it would be really great if you could check us out on Facebook, um, Twitter, YouTube. Um, we put all our own videos on YouTube um, and we're just trying to get people to come and be our friends. That would be fantastic. If you want to catch us for gigs in the new year, um, we're taking a little bit of a rest to do some writing. Um, but after that, we're just going to be touring on a small tour with Ramble Gamble, who are some friends of ours from down south. And we're going to be touring the northeast. And then past that point, it's just going to be as many festivals as we can fit into our calendar in the summer. I think we don't want to do anything more because what we want to do here is bring people and, and give them a sense of being on their own in this landscape. We never wanted to do a, something like a, a glamping site really. Um, people do have to walk up through the sheep and up through the fields and, and get into somewhere secret and on their own and that's that's really important to see this landscape in context and feel alone in that landscape is how I grew up and it gives you a sense of uh, valleys and it gives you a sense of quietness inside. When we started this it was, it was not only important to, you know, for people to stay here and feel that, that vibe but to get them to get out the, into the community, get into this landscape and explore it through the people around here who've got the skills to really get them into this landscape. The, the bushcraft man, Rob Caton, is a fantastic, phenomenal guy. And uh, he'll take you out and he'll track with you, track wild animals. And uh, uh, Kane, who's an amazing photographer, a young photographer, who's, who's going to be doing workshops here with the wildlife and 
We've got art workshops here um, with professional artists. We've got um, all kinds of things like outdoor pursuits as well. I mean, you know, the archery and uh, uh, the, the kayaking, all of that they can do. It's for me that, uh, that you come here and you can access all kinds of things from here, um, all kinds of skills, um, as well as just sitting back and watching the landscape. That's important. Down into the deep, sticks and stones just so we'll keep.